Viva Capital League 2 action comes your way from the Clairvaux MacKillop College. It's the round three clash between Clairvaux and Barden Latrobe as we take a look at the two team lineups. Of course, in the off season, Russell Mapri, the grand final winning coach at Kangaroo Point Rovers, has made his way to the Foxes. Barden Latrobe, you can see there on the screen. Referee for this encounter is Duncan Mansfield as the two captains exchange the coin toss. Playing out from the back are Barden. Searching ball forward for Maloney. Maloney, the Barden Latrobe stalwart. It's that across the face of goal. Knowledge is across though from his teammate. Gouge plays it on quickly for Clairvaux. This is Snape. Holds the ball up momentarily as numbers start to flood forward for the Foxes. Goes with the back heel, wider out and to the left instead. And another ball over the crossbar. Kang nods on. The referee's blown his whistle. I'm not sure what's going on here. He's producing a card. It's a red card to Barden, Seamus Crowley. Let's just pick up some of the effects, Mike, here. Referee Duncan Mansfield saying he has to go. He did not say an F word. He did not say an F word. Just explaining the rationale to the Clairvaux players. Well, an uphill battle here from Barden Latrobe. Gonna have to play the best part of 80 minutes with 10 men. Christy back for his keep up, Weber. All straight to the Clairvaux player in Snape. Can he make him pay? Weber can't hold on to the ball. Still alive for the Foxes. And the cross is dinked in high. Looks like the offside flag might have been up anyway. As again, Snape looks to terrorise the Barden defence. Let's take a second look at that on the replay. It's coming in with some venom there from Chris Snape. Ten minutes before the half-time break. Still no goals in this match. Was there a little bit of a hold? Referee allows the play to continue. And... It was Jones that time for Barden. So scoreless first half. Forward by Sewell. Keepers come off his line. Couldn't get to it. An open goal for Clairvaux. Clairvo and Kevin Barraclough has struck first for the Foxes shortly after the restart. We'll get a second look at that on the replay momentarily, I'm guessing. Here it is. Weber deep off his line. He had to be accurate and try and get to the ball first, but it was Barraclough that won that race. Clevo 1 0 leaders. Linga. Now for Opira. Into the box for Barden to try and find the equaliser. Kratar. Kratar. Oh, off the crossbar. And Clevo look like they're going to escape that scare. Hugo Creta had the keeper beaten, but the crossbar intervened. Corner for the Foxes. Barraclough, he's onto the crossbar this time. Almost extending Clairvaux's lead. Let's get a second look at that. Barraclough. Well, the keeper was powerless to act. Ball here for Halama Lumsden. And met by Weber at the near post as Barden looked to scramble away into stoppage time now. Barden will be looking to try and rescue a point. Clevo had possession though. Unmarked. Barraclough already scored one. Barraclough scores a double to substitute. And that'll clinch the three points for the Foxes here this evening at the college. Barraclough, past the keeper. And that'll mark the end of this Viva Brisbane Capital League 2 encounter. It's Clairvaux who come away winners over a 10-man Barden Latrobe by two goals to nil.